Okay, this is Jolly All Gen Gamer here, Christopher, and today we're going to take a look at some uh, LSI, you know, like these handhelds from the 80s. They're like uh, just battery powered monochrome games with sound. And these were all the craze back in the 80s, early 90s, kind of the Game & Watch. But uh, I just found these a few for cheap. Uh, this first game, well, before I got on the video, please be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications button so that you know when I'm uploading new videos here to the channel. And if you're new here to the channel, please subscribe. And let's get now on in the video. And this first one, uh, if you see it on angle, see like the battery is kind of low already. Uh, this one is called Dr. Slump uh, Arel. It's a uh japanese uh, uh i don't know japanese japanese anime i guess i don't know but uh when i was playing this it thing the only thing with this one it doesn't turn off so it's constantly on and there's an alarm game mode one and two see if you see it but it's kind of hard to, there it is there he is down there but with one hand it's impossible to play this uh but yeah, this game, uh, you can tell that right here, it's, this game is already, how old is this? This is from 1982. Still works. So, yeah. Uh, Dr. Slump, Arel Nichi Beachy. I played this when the batters were new. You're supposed to avoid getting hit and just, like, keep hitting this person on each point here. And you get, get points. So, pretty interesting kind of, uh... Uh, LSI handheld Game & Watch game. Next I have here is the uh, Casio Cosmic Fighter. Cosmo Fighter, I'm sorry. Electronic game, CG-110. Growing up, I did get one, like, not the same one, but I got a Casio game from my aunt. And uh, I was still a really small kid, so I don't know what happened to that. Probably it's destroyed by now, but... This one is this one is pretty cool, and it has see right there and flight control. You're supposed to press these. This is like squishy, interestingly enough. But these these things like they go for uh, at least like thirty fifth to thirty to fifty bucks. I don't. I guess a lot of people are nostalgic toward these these old game and watches. I just wanted one for the uh, collection and to play actually. I'm interested in these older games. Again, this one is called uh, Cosmo Fighter Electronic Game CG-110. Uh, I wanted to get one of these LSI games, but uh, they're kind of pricey. I do have one, but uh, yeah, I'll just show it to you later on this video. So we got this Cosmo Fighter in the back. It is 3 volts, 1982 as well. All these are made in Japan. Huh. Okay, and they still work. Wow, this is already 36 years old. Can you believe it? All right, pretty neat there. And you can at least you can turn this one off. Same thing. You need two hands to play this thing. It has a fire button, on off switch, the flight control. If you see these, it has like different uh, arrow points. And then this one, I don't think it does anything. Let me just see. Do anything? No, it doesn't. No, it's just squishy. These buttons are really squishy. This one doesn't do anything. All right, so we have that. And then I have a, a pro golf game. And this one you power on. And it needs a new battery as well. Look at that. That sounds like terrible. Where is it? There he is. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, we had 326 meters left. Oh, I whiffed. Oh, come on, I keep pressing it. Uh, anyway, this one is, yeah, called Pro Golf. It's club select, has different modes. And it's an LSI game, Young Adult, Pro Golf. What does that say? Bandai, 1984. Huh. 
interesting. All right, so we have that. And then uh, this is a junk cup here and I'll get my other LSI game. The last game I got here is uh, Space Defender, which is an LSI game like that. Uh, and this is the original box. I uh, got this on eBay a few years ago when it was cheap. It was uh, $10 shipped. So I'm like, I'm gonna, let's get this. It's a vintage and here's how it looks like. It's run off uh, four C batteries, but you can just use an adapter here I have. And this is how it looks like. And uh, it's pretty nice. I mean, I like to have the back, like, you know, like with the colors and it looks really nice. And yeah, there we go. Whoa, through the camera lens, you can just... Problem is with this one, I don't know if, this, if there's no sound with it or the sound is really low. But here's some vintage 1980, early 80s uh, arcade. Looks like this. And again, this is called the Apoc Electric Game Space Defender. This kind of reminds me of like um, Space Invaders, of course, or let's at another angle. Yeah, so I, I don't know how to maybe, there's no volume on the bottom or anything, but this is how it looks like. Um, yeah, there's for the C port, nothing there, nothing on the right side, uh, something down here, but it's written in Japanese, oh, this has 6 volts, 250 to 300 mega amps, and it says just here, when was this made, 1982, I believe, it was made in, uh, 1982, Epoch Company, they're the same makers who made the Cassette Vision and Super Cassette Vision, made in Japan, patent pending. So pretty neat history here of some uh, LSI games. And uh, yeah, I think this is a really neat uh, form of history right here. Pretty cool, but there you go. And again, this is an on off switch, a controller, start, select, fire, bomb, missile. Pretty neat. And again, that's my handhelds, like a uh, Game & Watch, I guess, vintage electronics, like from the 80s, early 80s, mid 80s collection. And these things are old, but they're still, they're older. What is the term? Uh, oldie but goodie. But yeah. Anyway, thank you again for watching my content here. And yeah, this is pretty neat. I don't know a lot of video game channels still cover these old, these old things anymore. But hey, they're a bunch of gaming history, and they're pretty neat. It's uh, like the like the golden time of um, electronics from Japan, and uh, it's nice to have as a oops. Oh, wait, there we go. Yeah, so that way, there it is. And then this one again as well. Right there, on off. And then this other one again is this one. All right. Well, thank you again for watching. And until next video, please like, comment, subscribe. And thank you very much again for watching my content. And take care. Oh, yeah, two more I forgot to show is this one. It's an LSI. It is... Um, I think, oh yeah, this is Jenkin, uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors, electronic game. I don't know, my my, uh, my cousin had this. Uh, he had gotten it from a garage sale in uh, the States, not because none of us are Japanese, so I don't know. But uh, yeah, I got this in a garage sale for five bucks and it was never used. I... You know, I he just gave it to me because he knew I, I collected LSI games, so I was like, okay, thank you. And uh, this is interesting. It was made by Bandai, uh, 1990, and it's like <clears throat> I tried it out. You need uh, coins, plastic coins. It's kind of odd, but turn it on here. Requires Hi, requires four AA batteries, so. Um, Put it in here and I think I 
I think the battery is low already. But it's weird, I'm kind of odd. Um, yeah. Interesting here, and then you put another point in. I think the battery's low. I have to, fit. I gotta get new batteries. Uh, hold on. Okay, let's try this again. So you get the coins out of here, and I don't, it doesn't function without the coins, which is kind of interesting. So, turn it on. Put them in here. Um. Ah, it tries you. Uh huh. Oh, you have to do the turns. That's why. Okay. I don't know. I got to read the directions or. Maybe there's some one person out there who has this, but kind of interesting LSI game. Rock, paper, scissors, but I do not know what the function is. Interesting. There you go. This is a unique LSI game. Pop, paper, scissors, and I had uh, another one my uncle, or my cousin gave, I guess his name my uncle, because he's like way older than me. Uh, but this one, Pach, Pachi, Pachi Slow, it's an LSI game for young adults, and it's basically a pachinko slash slot machine game. Uh, let's see. And this one needs, actually, let me jump cut because it's in this cellophane. Okay, all right, so I got this one to work. It needs two AA batteries, and there you go, and... In order to play it, you have to, oops, here it is. You have to put this metal in here, interesting. And you start it. Start. It's kind of like, you know, like a slot machine. So you stop. And you didn't win. So, press it again. Okay. Ah. Hmm. Oh. Close. But you get the idea. This is... Pachinko slot machine, and uh, yeah, it's an LSI game made by uh, made by Bandai, 1987. I never knew they made slot machine games, Bandai, until now. Uh, anyway, that is my and sorry about the cut there. I don't happen my uh, comp my uh, phone. Anyway, yeah, thank you very much again for watching my content. If you say it's long, and please like, comment, subscribe. And thanks again for watching. Take care. Here's the unique one again. There it is.